somebody realized that there was a dead tree uh, and my trailer's right there and there's a trailer right there and uh, so some a dude climbed halfway up I don't know if you can see the cable and tied a cable around and they're gonna pull it with a tractor so that it goes the right direction and doesn't hit a building and I was asked to keep my distance but that right now you can hear someone at the base of the tree uh, with the chainsaw so let's hope it goes the right direction. <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. been in broadcasting and photography and video and news too long because I want to go over there and get a closer shot. <laughs> Looks like it's starting to lean a little bit. He's going to start up the tractor on the other end of the cable. Starting up the tractor, they're going to pull it away from the buildings. Wish I was closer. <laughs> He said, are you going to put it in gear or are you going to bail off the tractor? And the other guy said, I ain't going to bail off of it. These guys are great. So nice to have, be surrounded by people who know what they're doing and know about the woods and about all this stuff in nature. So I learn a lot. Oh no.
All right. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm not going to go over there, but I wanted to show you how beautiful it is. There's a duck pond. These guys work so hard on all this stuff. And the gardens that just got put in recently. And I won't show too much more, but there's part of my trailer right there. Sure, I'm thankful to be here.